Hello, I'm Victoria Richards, Director of Education for Oral DNA Labs, a Quest Diagnostics company. Welcome to this presentation on our company and our salivary diagnostic test. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Oral DNA Labs. Today, you will learn about Oral DNA Labs, the tests that are offered, the importance of the oral systemic link, and the role that it plays in wellness and valuable information about the human papillomavirus and how it relates to oral cancer. Who is Oral DNA? Oral DNA Labs was incorporated in May 2008 and is located in Brentwood, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Nashville. The company was formed by dentist and healthcare business professionals with over 100 collective years in starting and operating laboratory testing companies. These individuals recognize the important need for clinical laboratory testing for dentistry. It is the first U.S.-based clinical lab that serves the dental community. Oral DNA is fully accredited and has both a medical director and chief dental officer on staff in addition to clinical laboratory and client support teams. You may ask, why provide salivary testing to dental offices? Let's look at a couple of facts. It's estimated that 100 million Americans are infected with periodontal or gum disease. And periodontal disease is now recognized as an increased risk factor for other systemic diseases, such as diabetes, stroke, and heart disease. Another fact, about 40,000 new cases of oral and oral pharyngeal cancers are diagnosed each year and HPV is now a recognized independent risk factor. In fact, one person each hour dies from oral cancer in America. Through an easy salivary test, oral DNA provides a way to detect earlier and monitor these serious diseases. Our goal is to improve the health and wellness of the patients that we serve. Three salivary tests are currently available. The first looks at periodontal disease infection. My Periopath is a bacterial DNA test that identifies the type and the amount of the pathogens that are causing the infection. The second considers periodontal disease susceptibility. My Perio ID PST is a genetic salivary test that determines who is at increased risk for the development of periodontal infections. And the third looks at oral HPV infection. Aura Risk HPV is an HPV viral DNA detection salivary test that determines who is at increased risk for HPV-related oral cancers. Collection of the samples for these tests is really easy. These tests are taken at a dental office. The patient will be asked to swish and or gargle with provided saline for 30 seconds and then spit into a funneled collection tube. The funnel will be removed and a screw cap will be placed on the end of the collection tube. Tests are electronically ordered and then sent via prepaid FedEx envelope. Samples are received, extracted, and tested using standard PCR techniques. And finally, a secure electronic result report will be generated. Let's take a look at the result reports for each of the tests. This is a sample of my periopath, the bacterial DNA salivary test for the presence of a periodontal infection. In the dental office, clinical symptoms like bleeding, swollen, red gum tissue, along with probing pocket depths, plus the use of x-rays are the traditional methods used to assess the presence of a gum infection. By testing, we can now take a look at the bacteria that's making up the infection. Testing results when coupled with traditional assessment tools, give a total picture of the risk associated with the gum infection. The second report that we will look at is my Perio ID PST, which is a genetic susceptibility test for periodontal disease. Dentistry has always known that there was a genetic component to the development of periodontal infections and that some individuals were just more apt to develop gum disease. My Perio ID PST allows a way to identify those individuals that are genetically wired to be more susceptible to the destructive process of a periodontal infection. Our final result report, or a risk HPV, provides a method to identify those individuals at an increased risk for the development of HPV-related oral cancers. 
before there are clinical signs and symptoms. The test report identifies the presence and type of oral HPV as well as the associated risk. Two reasons that salivary tests are pertinent today are the mounting evidence that supports the correlation between the oral systemic link and the need to identify individuals at an increased risk for the development of oral cancer. Let's take a look at some examples of the oral systemic link. In 2000, the U.S. Surgeon General, David Satcher, reported that oral health is an essential component to overall health and connections do exist between oral diseases and other health problems, such as heart disease and diabetes. Over the last 10 years, research has confirmed that oral bacteria and the associated inflammatory response can actually spread to other parts of the body. Similar findings are being presented in clinical journals such as the Journal of General Internal Medicine and the Journal of Hypertension. Let's look at a couple of significant studies. In 2008, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force completed and published a detailed evaluation examining the question of whether periodontal disease is an independent risk factor for the development of coronary heart disease. The conclusion? Periodontal disease is indeed a risk factor, independent of traditional risk factors, such as high blood pressure, cholesterol levels, or obesity, for the development of heart disease. In 2010, another study investigated the relationship between specific bacteria that cause periodontal infections and hypertension. The bacterial species that were measured are the same high and moderate risk bacteria that are targeted through the oral DNA test, MyPeriopath. Would these pathogens have any relationship to high blood pressure? The data provided evidence of a direct relationship between the amounts of high-risk periodontal pathogens that were present and an increase in blood pressure, as well as the increase of how often hypertension occurred. This study supports consideration of periodontal infection when assessing contributing risk factors of hypertension. Next, we'll move through some pertinent studies to look at the association between periodontal disease and diabetes. Published in 2006, this research found that gum infections may affect blood sugar levels in a way similar to obesity in diabetic individuals. In the next study, it was found that diabetic subjects with periodontal disease would harbor higher levels of periodontal pathogens than non-diabetic patients with periodontal disease. These pathogens that were cited in this study are the same pathogens that the oral DNA salivary test, MyPeriopath, measures. In the third study, it was found that one adverse effect of poorly controlled type 2 diabetic patients was the increased risk of developing periodontal infections as compared to well-controlled diabetics. As you can see, the link between periodontal health to systemic health is important in overall wellness. Let's look at another oral health consideration, oral cancer. Current research supports the correlation between oral HPV infection and increased risk for the development of oral cancer. Traditional oral cancer screening methods rely on tactile and visual exam, checking for any oral lesions or abnormalities. We now can identify those individuals that are at an increased risk due to an active oral HPV infection prior to the development of a visible lesion. Let's consider the facts about oral cancer. According to the Oral Cancer Foundation, 41,000 people are diagnosed with oral cancer in the U.S. each year. There are approximately 12,000 deaths due to oral cancer yearly. 66% of oral cancer is being diagnosed at a later stage, 3 and 4, which requires more aggressive treatment. The past demographics that were considered at high risk for the development of oral cancer were tobacco and alcohol users usually older and most of the time male. A newer demographic is emerging, younger individuals, 18 to 40 year olds, and both genders. HPV is an independent risk factor for oral cancer. Or a risk, HPV gives us a method to assess risk with the objective of earlier detection and better prognosis. And finally, oral DNA lab reports provide a great communication tool for patients dentists, and physicians. I hope you found this presentation informative. 
To learn more, visit OralDNA.com. Thank you for your time and attention.